Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we are making chicken pot pie. This will warm your soul on a cold winter's evening. And the recipe is so quick and easy. It's filled with tender chicken and a creamy vegetable filling and topped with a rich buttery crust. It's quick and easy and so delicious, you'll make everyone happy and you might be lucky enough to have leftovers. Let me show you how to make this. Take a look at our ingredients, and I've also listed them and the recipe in the description box below. To start, smash and dice two garlic cloves, and add them to a large, heavy bottom pot. Dice two carrots, one medium onion, one russet potato, and one zucchini. And you can use your favorite vegetables, or use whatever you have on hand here. Add them all to the pot. If this is your first time here, welcome! We're making easy, no-fail recipes that you can make with confidence and share with everyone you love. Join us every week when we share new recipes and subscribe so you'll get notified when we've posted a new one. Next, add about a pound of chicken thighs or chicken breasts to the pot. If you're using chicken breasts, cut them into smaller pieces. You could also use rotisserie or leftover chicken in this recipe to make the prep time even faster. Check the notes in the recipe below for details. Add enough water to cover the chicken then add a teaspoon of kosher salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Heat this over medium-high heat and bring it to a boil. Skim off any froth that may appear on the top and simmer for 10 minutes until the potatoes are just crisp tender and the chicken is cooked through. Remove the chicken from the pot and set it aside to cool for a few minutes. Place a large colander over a large bowl and drain the vegetables from the broth. We'll be using two cups of the broth for this recipe and you can save the remaining stock for another recipe. Begin preheating the oven to 425 degrees. Chop the chicken into bite-sized pieces. In the same heavy saucepan, melt six tablespoons of butter over medium heat. Then add six tablespoons of flour, stirring it constantly and cooking until the mixture turns a light golden brown, about five minutes. Whisk in the two cups of chicken stock, adding it slowly. and then add in one cup of heavy cream. Keep whisking the mixture so that it stays smooth. Next, add the spices. One teaspoon of kosher salt, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper, a half teaspoon of dried thyme, and a quarter teaspoon of rubbed sage. Lower the heat to medium low and simmer for 10 minutes. Stir this often until the sauce is thickened and creamy. Then taste and adjust the seasoning to your preferences. I added another half teaspoon of dried thyme. Lightly grease a three quart baking dish. Place the cooked chicken into the dish. and layer on the cooked vegetables. Then spoon the cream sauce evenly across the top. I'm using a prepared pie crust to cover the top of the chicken pot pie. Let it come to room temperature, then unroll the dough and lay it over the pie. Use your fingers to flute the edges and cut four vents in the center of the pie to release the steam as it cooks. Place the pie in the oven and bake this for about 20 minutes or until the pastry is golden. My crust was browning a little too quickly so I covered it with a pie shield to protect the edges. You can also make one out of a sheet of foil and just cover the pie edges loosely with the foil, keeping the center open. Let this cool for at least five minutes before serving. 
This is perfect with a Caesar salad or roasted vegetables. If you like this recipe, do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you'd love to entertain, I've put together a playlist of our easiest potluck dishes to share with friends and family. Take care, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.